Hi there, it's Nicole here for Hero Arts today and I am showcasing the Butterfly Stamp and Cut set and I created a Mother's Day card with these really pretty butterflies. I love these stamp and cuts and I love that this butterfly or these two butterfly dies do not cut all the way through the paper so that you can lift up their wings to give that um, illusion of movement. To start, I did die cut my watercolor cardstock panel here using a die that has a stitched border just to give it a little bit of interest. And then I'm applying some picked raspberry and spun sugar distress inks to this watercolor panel. I am gradually going to lighten the ink as it gets near the what's going to be the top of the panel. So it's going to be darker at the bottom with the picked raspberry and then go to the sponge sugar and just kind of lightly fade out near the top. Once I have my colors blended, I'm gonna take the Distress Sprayer and spritz this with water. That's gonna give me some nice distressing for the background. I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 to 45 seconds and let the water wick away some of that ink and then I'll blot it dry with a dry paper towel and you can see when I pick the paper towel up that I'm left with a really pretty distressed background. Before I do any of the butterfly stamping, I am gonna take the Alphabet Soup Bold Prints stamp, also new, and I am going to ink that up with the picked raspberry and sponge sugar distress inks to mimic the lighter to darker of the distress ink on the background. So it, the alphabet soup is light to dark as well. And that's just going to add another layer of interest to the background of my card. I'm going to take the new neon ombre red to purple ink pad which I absolutely adore I love the new all three of the new neon ombre ink pads from Hero Arts and using the two butterflies from the butterfly stamp and cut set I'm going to take the large butterfly first ink that up with this ombre ink pad and stamp that right there on my card now when you're doing this you want to kind of go back and forth a little bit to blend those three or two ink colors however you do it with so that it blends nicely and you don't have a really harsh line so you can see when I'm inking them up for the small butterfly I'm only using two colors but I kind of move back and forth there a little bit between the two colors to get a really nice transition between the colors and there are my beautiful stamped butterflies which are gorgeous as is but when you take the coordinating dies and place them over the butterflies, I am gonna use a little post-it tape. For the first pass of my die cutting machine, I am gonna die cut the large and one of the smaller butterflies since I can do two of them at once. And then for the additional cuts, I will uh, run them through my Big Shot with that smaller butterfly die to die cut the remaining two butterflies. But this is where the real magic happens, I think, with these particular dies and what makes them so unique and fun. They only die cut the wings. So once I get all four of these, I can kind of show you how great the movement is going to be with these butterflies. Go ahead and do this last one really quick. I did switch out my post-it tape for each butterfly. I usually don't, I usually reuse it. But with that Distress Ink background, it was picking up some of the ink and I didn't want to accidentally smudge other areas of my card. Okay, once I have those butterflies die cut, you can just kind of pinch the wings together and you can see what awesome movement you get with those butterflies. So isn't that so pretty? I just absolutely love this. Now. I wanted something fun to be on the back of the card or what you see when those wings are lifted up, but I wanted it to be really similar to what I had going on on the front of the card panel. So what I'm gonna do is ink up some more watercolor cardstock with the picked raspberry and sponge sugar distress inks. And I'm even gonna pull in a little bit of the seedless preserves distress inks, which is gonna have some of that really great purple. Uh, to tie into my neon ombre ink that I used for the butterflies. I'm not being real particular with this. Um, I 
trying to get a nice trans seamless transition between each of the colors but beyond that not a lot of this is going to show so I just lay down my color with the ink blending tools I'll spritz it with some water again because I love that distressed look blot it dry with my paper towel I'm going to clean off my uh, craft surface as well I'm just using a little water and my paper towel to clean that up and then I can go ahead and layer my butterflies over that now I couldn't decide if I wanted it to do it like this or I wanted to layer an, a piece of vellum behind and I ended up using the vellum because I kind of liked that muted look so what I'm going to do is attach the vellum directly behind the butterfly panel and then raise it up with some foam adhesive to give it a little bit more of a dimension. Before I do any of that, I am going to take the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pen and go over each of these butterflies to give them a little bit of glitz and glimmer, a little bit of sparkle. I love the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pen. I use it all the time. So I originally just went over the lines on this each of the butterfly stamped images and then I realized I really liked it a lot so I ended up coloring in the entire wing instead of just tracing over the whole thing. Here's where I decided I should just go ahead and color it all in. I'm going to do that for all four butterflies. Now before I add any dimensional adhesive I am going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. I did apply my vellum behind this panel since it's not going to have any dimension and that's going to be really flat. But I wanted to stamp my greeting so I had a nice uh, flat surface underneath. And I'm going to use greetings from the Butterfly Stampin' Cut. I'm using the Happy Mother's Day. You could do lots of different combinations of greetings. I love that this is a really versatile stamp set that will work for all kinds of occasions just by switching up what greeting you use. Now I'm going to just go ahead and fix all of my foam adhesive here on the back of my panel, being sure to miss any of those butterfly areas. You don't want any foam adhesive to be showing through those, but I did want my the majority of the background to have some foam adhesive anywhere that those butterflies aren't just so it has a nice stable backing and doesn't bow anywhere in the card. I'll peel off all of that backing paper now from the foam adhesive that I've used and then I can go ahead and place my watercolor background right to that and that the card looks great as is, but I went ahead to, and added some Pretty Pink Posh sequins here. I'm just using an assortment of different sequins in pinks, some iridescent colors, just a whole bunch of really pretty colors that coordinate nicely with these stamped butterflies. I'm using the bling glue dots to attach these. No mess that way. I love these glue dots. They make it really easy to attach sequins to projects. And then when all of my sequins are added, I'm going to take some clear gemstones and place those in the center. I think this card would look great in any of the ombre colors, the new ombre colors, or the previously released ombre colors. I think there's lots of fun things you could do here. You could create a whole set of note cards to give as a gift or something like that. Really pretty, really fun, and very easy. I'll go ahead and attach that whole panel to my card base. This is just a white top fold card base. And then I'm using that craft knife. Again, like I said, I'm gonna put these clear gemstones in the center of each of my sequins to finish off my card. Once I had my card done, I thought it would be fun to stamp a coordinating envelope. So I have one of these uh, wood veneer envelopes and I'm going to take that same ombre ink and my butterflies and I'm going to ink up the envelope and I absolutely adore how this looks stamped on this wood veneer envelope. I think it coordinates really beautifully. The ombre ink is really nice on the envelope. I'm gonna do a trio of butterflies on the envelope itself and then on that back flap, I am going to use the great handmade kindness stamp set also from hero arts and stamp a fun little greeting on that back flap so you could go ahead and hand write 
the recipient's name and address here on the front and the envelope coordinates beautifully with the card. Again, I use that ombre ink so that the greeting here on the back flap has all three colors. Thanks for watching this video showcasing new 2016 catalog Hero Arts stamps and dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.